Good afternoon, Redeemer family, and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for today is based on our gospel reading for Sunday. Our gospel reading for Sunday is Luke's gospel, chapter 18, verses 9 through 17. Luke, chapter 18, verses 9 through 17. Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector standing far off would not even lift his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Now they were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them to him, saying, Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. <clears throat> this parable is one that can really hit hard home, uh, especially for those of us who have been Christians for a long time. For those of us who have been Christians for a long time, we might have the tendency to become somewhat self-righteous. We can look around and compare ourselves to other people and, and say, well, at least I'm going to church. Well, at least I'm not uh, like that guy who's doing that thing or like that woman who's doing that thing or like that person who is doing those things. And you know, we can be just like that Pharisee in this parable. We can have the tendency to compare ourselves, look at ourselves more highly, and think, you know, how much better am I than they? But the point of comparison has to be ourselves in compared to Jesus our Savior, in compared to God Himself. We might be slightly whiter or slightly more clean than the others who do horrible things, but compared to Jesus, compared to God himself, we are all filthy dirty with sin, absolutely uh, unrighteous because of our own actions and deeds. But Jesus in this parable says this. He says, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. Well, who alone can justify us? Only, only Jesus. Only Jesus can justify us, and the only way he can do that is not by the righteousness that we have of our own, a righteousness that's a self-righteousness, a righteousness that's a comparative righteousness, that at least I'm better than. The only way that we can be justified is with the perfect, pure righteousness of Christ. That's the righteousness that covers all our sin. That's the righteousness that uh, presents us back to God, presentable, blameless, and holy, because it was everything that Jesus did and everything that Jesus gave by his cross and everything that Jesus gave by his resurrection. That and that alone justifies us. And it should give us the humility of the heart that we need. Remember those last words here in verse 14. For everyone who exalts himself, we be humble. We think it's by our own righteousness. We think we can do it on our own. We're going to be hugely humbled come judgment day. But the second part is very important to us. But the one who humbles himself will be exalted. We have to look at ourselves for who we truly are in comparison to Christ and it is a humbling experience. 
And we come in that sense of repentance, in that sense, we come before him on our knees, our head bowed, our hearts low, because we know we need forgiveness. Jesus is the only one who can give it to us. And we receive it by his grace and mercy alone. But that's where the portion here about the little child enters in. See, just like a little child can not come to Jesus on his or her own, especially an infant, but needs to be carried, so the Holy Spirit needs to carry us, carry us to receive that gift of righteousness, carry us to be connected to that gift of righteousness. Only the Holy Spirit can carry us along in faith and can apply the righteousness of Christ to us. Only the Holy Spirit can do in us that which we cannot do for ourselves. And he does that very thing. And so like children, we receive the grace of God. No power of our own, no ability of our own, no anything of our own, but that which we rely on from Jesus alone, by his grace alone. The Spirit carries us to Jesus, that we might live through him. In his name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray that you would help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to have uh, the humility before you that is uh, the appropriate humility, that we would recognize that in comparison to you, we are totally unrighteous. It may be tempting for us to compare ourselves to other people and think we're slightly better, but help us to see that in comparison to you, we're all filthy sinners, and we all need the forgiveness the righteousness and the justification that only you can give. And we pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you would carry us to that in faith, that our faith might be childlike, receiving, accepting, and believing all that you give by the working of the Holy Spirit as he carries us along through the power of your word to trust in you and your gift of salvation. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a beautiful Thursday and a beautiful weekend, and I pray that the Lord would bless you and encourage you. Take the time to hear his word, receive his gifts, and be present with him as he is present with you. Have a blessed weekend.